housekeeping. Whoa. Oh, Roxy, you knock much? <laughs> Look at you gorgeous hunks. You know, I got this fantasy going. What if I were the pizza delivery girl? Boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, relax. The only thing I'm serving is a big slice of bad news. Your boss got canned last night. Mine? Bo Buchanan was fired? You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Dorian humidified him in public, and she fired his butt. How much you want to bet Johnny McBain is going to take over his job? Hi, who's this? Why are you talking to Mitch Lawrence? Hello. Uh, hello. This is Mayor Dorian Kramer Lord. Who is this speaking? John McBain. Would you like to tell me why Landview's most dangerous criminal is getting a hold of a phone which he is using to harass me? Yeah, I'm about to find out. Good. You do that. And you make sure that nothing like this happens again. Thank you. So you and the mayor, huh? Oh, yeah. We go way back. <clears throat> Did she give you the phone? No, I found it in the drawer there. Uh, it's uh, disposable. Prepaid, they tell me. Yeah. Shocking. Well, I thought it was hospital issue, you know. So why are you calling Dorian Lord? Why is Mitch Lawrence calling you? You barge into my house, and now you dare to interrogate me. Oh, okay, fine. We won't talk about that. We do have to talk about Bob Buchanan. Dorian, you can't fire him. I am mayor. I'm completely... But it is a right stupid, so. stupid move. You don't know anything Dorian, about the we are trying to keep a dangerous and high-profile criminal behind bars. Yes, tell me something I don't know. Then why on earth would you fire the most trusted and efficient commissioner we've ever had? And why do I find you on the phone with that same criminal? How dare you question me? I think my readers might be very interested to find out what your motives are. Great. Why don't you even question my judgment while you're at it? You'll only end up sounding like a bitter wanted to be. I am mayor. You are not. You resigned. Well, I did that to protect my family. I had to. So do I. Oh. Oh, Dorian. Has Mitch threatened you? I don't scare that easily. Then what are you talking about, Dorian? How are you protecting your family? You think it'd be good if you killed Mitch? I don't know anybody who'd cry about it. Your wife? She'd be sorry to see you go to prison. Is that what you want? I don't want anything, Brody. That's the problem. You want me to shut up about what you're doing? Yeah, maybe that, yeah. <laughs> it's your life, Charlie. Your business. But we can't cover for you anymore. And you won't have to. Do you want to stop? Well, don't tell me it was only the one time. That's what you told Jessica, too. Let's go to a meeting. There's no point. Those meetings got you sober after years of being a drunk. Yeah, yeah, I listened when you mm -hmm. talked. The program pulled you out of a very deep hole. Yeah, not really, because in the end, it didn't work. Well, what will? I don't know. So talk to Vicky. Uh, look, that is the last thing that I need. She loves you. Yeah, and that's why I can't let her see me like this. <sighs> well, I can't keep it a secret from Jessica, and I can't promise she won't tell her mother. Well, you could if you tried. But you want Vicky to know, and you're going to make sure she does. Tell me this isn't true. Well, the details are off. Only the details? Oh, and I never wanted to hurt Clint. So it's true. Yes. Clint and I have split up, and I'm back with Bo. What's going on with Gigi? Nothing. Compared to you losing your job or getting Nora back. Please tell me that part's true anyway. Well, it is. It is. We haven't had a chance to enjoy it yet. But you will. Because you are meant to be together, I have to believe that. All right, Balsam, you can say the same thing about you and Gigi. Yeah, I hope so. What's going on? Gigi moved out. So, Uncle, 
Yeah, it's cold. We need yeah. a fire. Okay. I'm gonna get some wood. Um, I'll start breakfast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 